One of the great symbols of this gathering was how we created the global vigil fire, the structure of it itself, and how we lit the flame. Everybody was involved in this particular creation. Everyone took part in adding sticks or creating the structure for the fire, adding flowers to the area that we hold the sacred flame, lighting the fire through sparks instead of matches, and experimenting with that. One of the great aspects of this particular time together was an aspect of tribal consciousness. And that was brought about by our association with Doc Slider, an elder of the Coos, Lower Umpqua, and Sayusla Confederated Tribes. And this year, Doc participated in our opening ceremony he helped facilitate our first fire down at the beach, welcomed us to his native land, and we went on from there two days later onto a journey to Coos Bay, actually, to have experiences, to share ceremony on tribal lands. And that was something that was such a gift. It brought a greater consciousness on how we, in our getting together, form a tribe of light, that we are gathering together people who have a global consciousness, who have personal work to do, and so much of the work that, that goes on here is on an individual level, and yet it has global impact. And Doc's participation here, his opening up of tribal lands and tribal peoples and tribal ceremonial centers to our work just gave me a sense that we too are a tribe and that he recognizes us. So we were fortunate this year to be invited up to some local friends organic farm upriver and we were invited to just to feel the land there and to drop into that energy. Then we were invited to actually braid sweetgrass that grows right on their property. And that was lovely. We were all just like children playing in the grasses, braiding and sitting and laughing, and it was just such a lovely delight. Then we took that sweet grass on a little vision quest up a hillside into a gorgeous meadow that had really been beautifully prepared for us with large alder trees all around and a canopy of alder leaves above. And out there they had built beautiful long banquet tables so that we could all enjoy a meal together in the meadow. And that meal was in itself an incredible medicine gift in that the woman who created it, it really is her medicine to offer food that is organic and healthy and combined well and beautiful and tasteful and she did an excellent, excellent job. So we just, we just had this incredible time together as a group to just be received by the land here near Yahats, to be fed by the land, to be fed by the people in the community, just all of the gifts that being in community brings. One beautiful aspect of that journey to David and Charlotte's land, their dancing star farm, is that they asked us to do, in essence, the same thing that Doc asked when we went to tribal lands. They asked us first to listen to the land, to be quiet within ourselves, not to go there having a big intention of we're gonna hold a certain kind of ceremony or we're gonna do a certain process on the land, but they both asked us, they all asked us to go to the land first, to be quiet and to listen. And, and I think that's whether it comes from tribal experience or whether it comes from local community experience, I think we're being taught a unified lesson and I think it's something that this community that's gathering together 
and that many people are a part of, even if they can't attend every single gathering, is to be ever the more connected with the land in which we live and to which we're invited. To listen to the voices and feel the textures and smell the fragrance, to receive the sensual input of all our experience on the land before we ever decide what ceremony or how to offer back. So there was one moment when we had we had all worked in small groups to bring forward the medicine that that we were meant to bring to this fire. And each group had developed their own process, their own ceremony, beautiful, beautiful practices. And as each one of those practices was offered to the group and then offered to the fire, layer upon layer, weaving and braiding into, into just a, a, an incredible condensed form almost of peace. Like it was just a restful, spacious peacefulness and everyone in the circle was in that peace. So within the spirit canoe, there was this incredible, we were floating in peace and there was a sense and a knowing that no one wanted to shift from that. No one wanted to have anything else spoken. Nobody else, nobody wanted a disruption in that because it just felt so good and it just felt so right. And it really is a symbol of our times, I think, a symbol of work like this, that there comes this moment when you've given all of your gifts and it feels so good and they feel so received, especially by a fire. And you have a place to put them and a place to offer them and you feel them being received. You just come to this most peaceful place in your heart, most peaceful place. And to reach that with a whole circle of people also reaching that, that's that's hard to describe.